Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you not one, not two, but four super quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs using the Valentine's Day wood plaques that the Dollar Tree is carrying right now by Crafter Square. I love working with these plaques and if you followed me during Christmas time, you know that I had a lot of fun working with the Santa and the snowman and the gingerbread ones. And so Valentine's Day is here and I've got some fun, quick and easy ideas using these plaques. And so I thought I'd bring them to you today. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it. And let me show you just how quick, easy and budget friendly these four DIYs are using the wood heart plaques from the Dollar Tree. Before I get started with today's video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mariah Riley. She watches and comments on all of my videos. Thank you, Mariah. Big hugs to you. For this first DIY, I'll be using these paper flowers that I got from Michaels. There's 36 flowers in this pack, and I wanna say I paid $3 for these using a coupon. I liked the multicolor pack because these are the colors that go with my room and my comforter and that's where this piece is going. Before gluing down the flowers, I started off by just kind of placing them where I thought I wanted them to go and outlining the outside edge of this wood heart plaque. When you're doing a piece like this and you're filling it in with something like these flowers, you can very easily lose the shape of the plaque. And so I wanted to be careful and not do that. And so once I got the outside of the plaque lined up and you could still see that it was a heart, I went ahead, I hot glued them down and then just went ahead and filled in the rest of the plaque with the remaining hearts. I believe I used about 25 of the 36 flowers that came in this pack. Up at the top of the heart here, I wanted to take and just kind of hot glue these petals down to the back just to give it more of its shape back because I was feeling like it was losing its shape. And so just by folding these back and really defining this inner edge where it kind of tapers in at the top of the heart, it really helps to keep its shape. I'll be hanging this piece. So to do that, I'm just gonna hot glue some twine to the back and that'll be what I hang it from. If you want this piece to stand, you could easily just hot glue two of Dollar Tree's Jenga blocks, one to the front and one to the back at the bottom of this heart. Then this piece will easily stand instead of hang. Okay, seriously, tell me that was not easy to do. And the outcome of this is so chic. I can hardly stand it. I love the feel of this piece using these paper flowers. And because I didn't use traditional Valentine's Day colors, it is easily a piece of decor that can be left up in my room year round. This next DIY using these wood hearts, I feel like it has more of a country feel rather than a chic feel. For this DIY, I'm gonna start off by removing the twine hanger and I'm gonna set it aside because I'll be using it at the end to hang this piece. For this heart, I will be using this denim scrapbooking paper and yes, I did say denim. You can get this paper pack at Joann's for about $5. It comes with two different shades of denim, this darker denim and a lighter one. It actually made my new favorite find a few months ago and I did a DIY using it. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it in the description box below. So for this heart, we will be using the darker denim and I'm gonna start off just by placing a nice thick coat of Mod Podge on the wood heart plaque itself. Once I've got it nice and coated, I'm just gonna place this face down onto the back side of the denim scrapbooking paper because it is lined with some kind of a paper. It's not an adhesive denim, it's just lined because it's very thin denim. I'm gonna set this in the oven for about 10 minutes just to speed up the drying process. Once it's dried, I'm gonna take my straight edge razor and I'm gonna cut off the excess denim. 
For this next step, I will be using the aluminum XOXO that's out right now at the Dollar Tree. And instead of gluing it on, taking some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory, I'm going to dry brush stroke over this. I'm not going to adhere it down or tape it down. I'm just going to hold it into place and kind of just dry brush stroke over it onto the denim. There is no need to worry about perfection when it comes to this part because really the more imperfect it looks, the more perfect it'll look. And so really this is just to give it more of that faded, distressed look, maybe that painter's pant denim type look is what we're going for with this or that clouded look. It really is easy to do. You don't need a lot of paint on your brush. Just lightly go over it. If you happen to get a bit heavy handed in some spots, don't worry about it because it's just gonna add a character. This was feeling a bit unfinished to me. And so I decided to finish off the edges of this heart using this jute twine. This is a four ply twine, which means it isn't a very thick twine. It's thicker than the twine that you would get at the Dollar Tree, but not as thick as the nautical rope. It's kind of that middle of the road, medium size. And for this one pound skein, I think I paid $2.98 for it at Walmart. And this skein goes a long way. And I figured that this was the perfect twine to finish the edges of this heart off with. I still wasn't completely happy with this heart. I felt like it was a bit too plain that it was missing something. And so what better thing to finish it off with than one of my twine flowers. And in the center of my flower, I like to finish it off with just a simple button. Now I'm happy with this. There is something about twine in denim that just really has that country feel to it that I love. Not so much a farmhouse feel, but I'd say more of a country feel. And I think that it's just a fun change. Moving on to the last DIY, this is kind of a two-in-one because I'm doing it in two different styles. I'm going to start off with the traditional Valentine's Day colors and to do that I'll be using the scarves that I got from the Dollar Tree. I picked up three different styles of scarves. If you were following me this Christmas, you know that the theme for my Christmas DIYs this year was that country quilted Christmas. I used a lot of fabric and had a lot of fun using it when it came to these wood plaques. And so for this last DIY, I will be kind of going along that route. I'm gonna give this heart plaque, again, a real good coating of Mod Podge, and I'll be using the scarves from the Dollar Tree to cover them. And so because these had such fun patterns on them, I thought that they would work perfect for this. Once you get the fabric placed onto your plaque, you are gonna wanna apply a second coat of Mod Podge over the fabric because it helps adhere it a bit better to the plaque and it also makes the fabric a bit stiffer and harder. So when you go to cut that excess fabric off, it's really easy to do it and you get nice clean edges. For this DIY, I'll not only be using one of the larger wood hearts, but I'll also be using two of these smaller ones. And I was going with one of the plain hearts and one of the hearts that has the arrow going through it. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the large heart, apply the Mod Podge, and I'm gonna add fabric to these as well. And I'll be using two different scarves. And what's great about these scarves is there is such a large amount of fabric on them that you can really get a lot of DIYs out of each of these scarves and you're only paying a dollar a scarf. And I think honestly that the fabric is probably more than a quarter of a yard. So you're really getting a lot of fabric. And so you can see that I'm only using a small amount of fabric for each of these. And I just thought that it was fun to kind of put a different fabric on each heart. Once your Mod Podge is good and dry, if you use a straight edge razor to cut off the excess fabric using the plaque as a guide, you're gonna get really nice clean edges. And because I applied that second coat of Mod Podge, it made the fabric stiffer so it's really easy to cut through and you're not gonna get any fraying. Because I'm me and I like to distress things because these hearts look a bit too clean for me, I'm gonna be using this brown ink pad that I got from Hobby Lobby it says it was $3.99, but I used a 50% off coupon and got it for $2. Dollar Tree's got ink pads, black, blue, red, I believe, green, that you can get for a dollar. If you wanna use the black, you can. I like brown. I think that it gives it more of a rustic feel and it's gonna go with the decor of my home a bit better. So I decided that paying the extra dollar to get the brown was worth it. And so just using a stiffer brush, 
I'm gonna use that to just kind of distress the edges of the heart. This next step you don't have to do, but I wanted to because I like dimension. On the back side of the two smaller hearts, I'm gonna hot glue two of Dollar Tree's Jenga blocks on, and I'm gonna kinda just do it in the center of the hearts, no particular place, it doesn't really matter. Once I get them glued on, I'm gonna glue these hearts onto the larger heart, and I just thought that this would give it some dimension, give it kind of that 2D, 3D feel by adding these blocks onto the back side of both. Even though I'm going with the more traditional colors for this piece, I still wanted to add some twine to give it more of that rustic feel, and I feel like that's what twine does. And so to do that, I just decided to go with two smaller bows for the smaller hearts and a larger bow here for this larger heart. And I'm gonna replace the twine and instead of using the holes that were once there, I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back. For this last DIY, I wanted to show you just how simply by staying away from those traditional Valentine's Day colors, the pinks and the reds, and by going the more rustic route, by incorporating burlap into something like this, you could really make this a decor piece that you can keep up. And so for this larger heart, I did go with the burlap and I applied it with a felt first and then the burlap using the Mod Podge. And I'm sorry that I didn't get that on film, but really you just do it the same way by applying the Mod Podge, then the felt, then Mod Podge, then the burlap, then Mod Podge again. And by doing that, you will stiffen your burlap so when you cut it with your razor, it's not gonna fray and you'll get a nice clean cut. I also did the smaller hearts and I used this black and white gingham that I had left over from some of my Christmas DIYs. And I also used this other fabric that you'll be seeing in an upcoming DIY next week that I actually got from Walmart. And I believe it was by Emma and Delilah, I think, the fat quarters at Walmart. I'm not for sure who it was, but you'll see this fabric again in an upcoming DIY this week, like I said. And so I really wanted to kind of go with something that was going to go with the decor of my home. And just by doing this, you're going to see how it completely changes the look, the vibe, the feel of this DIY just by doing it in colors that suit your decor other than colors that are the traditional Valentine's Day colors. And again, true to my nature, using the brown ink pad, I am going to distress all three hearts. As these look beautiful, nice and clean and crisp, to me there is something so rustic that using the ink gives these when you age them. It gives them that aged feeling, that worn feeling like there's a story behind them, like they've been places and that is a look that I love. I'm going to put this one together the same way using the Jenga blocks on the back and I gotta tell you, just by switching up the fabric, I love the way it changed the feel and the look of this piece. It really went from being just a Valentine's Day piece that you would put out every February to a piece that you could leave out all year round and use it as a decor piece. I really love the way this looks using the burlap, the gingham, and this light printed fabric. I think that the outcome of this was exactly what I was going for. And so for this, I feel like I'm just gonna finish it off with just one of my twine bows because the fabrics on their own really add to this piece. And so I feel like the simplicity of this piece is fine because of the fabric and the burlap and the way it all ties in together and really gives it that rustic feel. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the twine hanger back onto the back. And like I said before, with any of these pieces, if you want these to be a standing piece, a piece that you put on a shelf or a countertop, you can easily do that by gluing a couple of Jenga blocks to the bottom of this heart in the front and the back. And there you'll have a standing piece instead of a hanging. I am so happy with the outcome of this piece. I am loving it. 
and I think that just putting the two of them together, it was a fun couple pieces to make and you can definitely see how this traditional one is fun and bright and vibrant and this burlap one is just got that rustic, shabby chic farmhouse feel to it. When I said that these were quick and easy, I wasn't lying. They're quick, they're easy, they're budget friendly. And what I love about decor pieces like this is really you can make them to either be totally suited for Valentine's Day or you can transform them and make them into something that's gonna suit your decor that you can keep up. And that really was my goal in doing those three hearts was to do them in the traditional Valentine's Day colors. And honestly, I wasn't super happy with that one. I wish that the scarves would have had uh, different colors because I feel like the two pinks didn't contrast enough, they weren't different enough, and so they kind of just blended in together. The white one popped a bit, but you know what? It still came out cute. It still had that rustic feel to it because of the twine, but when I took it and I used the burlap and the gingham, I think that it just made it such a chic piece, a farmhouse piece that could be left up year round and people aren't gonna look at it thinking that I left my Valentine's Day decor up. I hope you all enjoyed today's four quick and easy DIYs. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Bye.